Welcome. I thought I'd just jump in here just for a moment and bring you an activation. Yeah, there's some beautiful energies coming right in right now and I thought you might like to share in those. And so uh, a little light language transmission maybe um, and an activation sequence. This will be specific for you. I bring it in and then it'll come in through your own guidance um, system to uh, calibrate, to bring you into balance within yourself. Okay, there are no limits to the amount of light language transmissions you can receive, activations you can receive, upgrades, downloads. Okay, you can just keep bringing it in. Because the more you do, the more you ele elevate your frequency, the more you are held physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, on every level, multi-dimensionally, you are then held at a specific frequency to support your own evolution, to support your own change, to support you through this time of transformation. And so you can't overdo it. <laughs> There's no such thing as too much positive light energy transmission. I mean, what it can do, of course, is the more that you bring the light in, the more you can become aware of any shadows, any parts of yourself that you're not happy with, that will start to show up more and more clearly, which on one level is wonderful because it magnifies things, makes it very obvious uh, what you need to change. Um, what's ready to change, what's ripe. I love it when things are just so ripe that you just bring in a little bit more energy and poo, it all just happens. You don't have to work hard sometimes at this, you know. I mean, really, the more light, the more light you bring in, the more transmissions, the more um, coded information that you integrate into your multidimensional awareness, then the less effort's required. And that's why it's important to create the space for you. Create the space for you. You are the most important thing right now. Okay? And the gift that you can give yourself is valuing yourself. Valuing the true you of you on this path. Nothing else is as important. Everything else is kind of a distraction, really. And most of it is actually a distortion about self and how we need to be in the world and what we need to do, etc., etc., to get our needs met. Um, and all those needs are changing because we're learning to find out what our true inner needs are and then learn how to meet those in our way that is authentic and true. Mm -hmm. Not part of all this, uh, this disillusionment and this fragmentation and all of the, uh, the separation and these observations that we're experiencing that help us to realize just how out of whack we can be sometimes with ourselves, right? Yeah, and so no matter where you are on your journey, bring in more transmission, more light energy and more coded information and that will help to elevate your vibration and support you through this transformational time so that you can prioritize you, your self-care. And the more you do that, the more you show your guiding uh, networks that you understand the value of you. There is a transition that is occurring and it's a collective one that's bringing us out of the programs of worthlessness. And one of the things that hasn't been valued on this planet for a very, very long time is our own inner light. And so as you give value to your own inner light, you add to the collective networks of change that are valuing our inner light as human beings in this conscious creation of a new earth where our inner light 
light, our guiding wisdom and intelligence is a unified field that we all share with our, our beloved planet at the centre and our light and our awareness of our sacredness all wraps around that. That's the most valuable thing. From that place of awareness of the value of the relationships that we have with one another, with our ecosystem. That's where change happens. When we recognize the value of cohesive relationships, how everything is interconnected, nothing is separate, and how through those interwoven, intricately connected systems and networks, we are nurtured to thrive. So valuing that puts us into superposition. And from superposition, we are nurtured and we are fed through vibration, through light, to support, to nourish, to receive, to share and to thrive. Let's bring in an activation to support you with that and more. <laughs> and um, a little light language transmission as well to finish off. If you like these light language transmissions and activations and you get a lot from it, let us know. <laughs> Write in the comments, share with us. Because we love to hear how you're experiencing things. Because the ascension, the awakening, it's experiential what you're experiencing matters. You can place your hand on your heart or in prayer position, whatever works for you. And we'll bring in this activation. I'm going to drop some light codes in for you. These will go into your energy field. And then your guiding systems and your physical body can make use of them as and when, whenever's right for you. Yatan yeto will do the light language as well. Yatan yeto ana, yatan yeto ana, tanan ye, tanan ye, kian tan ye, kian tan ye, ya ya ne, ya ya ne, ya ye, ya ye, ya tan ye, ya tan ye. Yatani, Yatani, Kiyayani, Yayani, Kayata, Kayata, Kiyatani, Yaya, Kiyatani, Yaya, Kiyata, Kiyata, Kiyatani, Yay, Kiyatani, Yay, Kiyata, Kiyata, Kiyatani, Kiata ni Kiata Kiata <laughs> For you. <laughs> oh, that's a beautiful one. Stay.